Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Age of Decadence. This is Colonel RPG as usual and I'm very happy that you should join me today because we are about to complete this battle. Not right now, this guy is almost dead, but not right now because there's still another one. But if you're wondering where I am, well, I'm at, at Kato's Tavern, of course. Um, we kited the three guys back here and the thing I did first is I improved my block up to three and uh, that helped me a whole lot in uh, not taking about almost any damage almost any damage I have I'm down at 34 HP whereas I started at 40 so basically what I did is I stood here while the guys kind of missed me with their um, you know those dirty things the knives just whatever they throw at me um, and um, this guy was uh, the, the guy with the hammer or the mallet or whatever was running after me so I kited them all the way through here and this poor fellow over here this gang member he was one of the guys that was throwing I think it was the guy that was throwing the axes uh, around here uh, and he somehow he, he has more action points than the guy with the mallet so basically somehow overtook him and now I'm about to kill the guy with a mallet he should be he should go down next turn uh, this very turn so I'm gonna try this he doesn't have armor to speak of I'm not sure if I destroy it or whatever so I'm just gonna go with three attacks on this one there we go for damage a dodge uh, I'm not gonna risk it but it's okay if I risk it and there we go okay so he's dead but there's still another one, and you see, they don't come after me for some reason. I don't know where he is, he's over there, but he still, <clears throat> excuse me, he still has his throwing axe, which are a bit of a problem. So what I'm gonna try and do, uh, so basically this is, this, this has, well, I've been trying this a lot, it's now, what time is it? It's now 10 o'clock in the night, in the evening, uh, because I've been trying this a lot, and uh, like, I've been trying, uh, it's probably around my 20th? try attempt this yeah ever since I know I narrowed down this strategy and I figured that um, the block really did help a lot I, um, I I was I did like five or six tries after that one and this is going and this one is going very very well because I usually by this point I'm usually down at 10 health or even lower than that and that guy that guy can he, he, I, this is not a given this is not a, uh, a, a what what should I say uh, how should I put it it's not a, a done deal. Yes, that's the word. This is definitely not a done deal. So what I'm going to do here, and I found this. This works. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go there. He's, he can still attack me from there. So what I'm going to go here. See if he comes in here. He doesn't. Okay, that's bad. See if he moves. He does move. That's good. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. Now, I am pretty sure he is... He still has the ranged uh, weapon on him. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to follow the same strategy that I follow with the other ones. Go for the legs, and then after that, you know, if we can, attack the head. So but I'm, I don't miss, though. Okay. There we go. Okay, one point of damage. And there we go. Okay, so he's attacking us. And now we start to take damage. This is a big problem right now. The damage that we're going to take. I am going to use Shield Bash and... Well, if you're seeing this, you know I succeeded in this thing. Um, well, so that's a spoiler for you. Uh, because otherwise, I am just going to scrap the footage and try again and have that. There you go. So that's my strategy right there. I'm, I'm feeling confident right now. Although he can do a lot of damage with his ability. How much damage am I dealing? Not a whole lot. Two damage. That's pretty good, though. Let's... Okay, three, two. That should be good. Yeah, this is... Okay. Uh, I think we are good. I think we are good. Let's see. I'm going to go... With a strike to the head. There we go. I, I clench when I do that because 63% chance to hit. That is terrible. And now my shield damage reduction is down. He's wounded. I need this guy gone. I need this guy gone. There we go. Did he die? He's, di he's not dead. He's not dead. But I can't really do any. <gasps> oh boy. Yeah. Finally. God damn it. I, I won. I won. Well. Um, I might be shouting uh, too loudly first because it's 10 o'clock in, in the evening. But I am going to go with a, an arterial strike right there. Six damage. And now go with a fast one. And he's still not dead. But yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do the power attack that he does on me. And that's the one. Okay, so yeah, he's decreasing my accuracy, which is the big problem in this battle. Is this guy, especially this guy and this guy over here, this, the guy with the mallet, they decrease your accuracy by a lot. So I'm gonna try and go for this. There we go. Two damage right there is good enough. And now with a normal. At no, that was a that was a misclick, but that's fine. I didn't take any damage. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, 
Oh, go me. Okay, okay. We should be okay. We should be okay. Mm. Shield is being broken. But we should be okay. I'm gonna wait a, f a fast attacks. And there we go. You offer yet another sacrifice to death. And... <clears throat> man. This is... <clears throat> excuse me. Man. This battle is tough. This battle is tough as hell. And it, it is not... It, it's... It's not the battle itself, it's the fact that we have to spread our combat skills so thinly because we're, tr we're trying to maximize um, our lore run and our, you know, the, the, all the stuff that we can do in one single seating. But man, this battle is terrible. <laughs> oh boy, we done it. We done it though. There we go, let's loot this thing. Let's go back there, I'm not sure if there's gonna be anything for us, but if there is, well, I'll just take everything, take that all. See what I got here, some... yeah, it's all broken. Everything's broken. Oh boy, well, I'll still be able to sell it, I think. The mallet, there we go. The sledgehammer is not a mallet, it's a sledgehammer. Oh boy, <clears throat> man. And excuse my throat, it's, it's, it's been lately, I don't know, and once in a while I need to clear it for some reason. It's... I don't know, I'm not sick. It's cold, though. I think the cold makes it more likely that you need to clear a throat or something, I don't know. Let's come back here. Actually, first things first. Well, I did save, so let's just... Quick save right there. Uh... So, this is the gang leader that we killed, and he has a, a studded barberry armor and a spiked club. So, he's dead. Let's have a chat with the guy. Wasn't he, wasn't there somebody else? Somebody around here, was it this dude? Doesn't seem like that is the case. So, I guess that's that. Well, I guess that's that. We need healing, though. Very, very dearly. So, let's see. Let's look at our current situation. Our shield is broken. Totally broken. Uh, our armor is not as so broken that it can't be repaired for a uh, cheap price, I suppose. Uh, and we got a lot of loot to sell, which is perfect. Let's see if there's anything here that is interesting. Probably not. We got uh, well, this is the in most interesting thing that I've seen. But yeah, the minebs and this handox. Um, yeah. So basically, basically, this is a Viking. When it says over there, a Scanian, that's Scandinavian. It's like more or less like what it's supposed to mean. And this is a Viking. Um, axe right there, and this one is another, oh no, it's a Kag Skagox, and it, yeah, it's a bird, bearded axe, this one is a, uh, not really sure what it's supposed to be, what, what the name, what the name is, but anyway, let's, let's get out of here, let's go ahead and sell our stuff, or sell the loot of that spoil, but the biggest loot, of course, is gonna be our body count, and our combat skill point right there, it's just one, it's just one, but one can make all the difference, let's go to the back, blacksmith, Browse his wares, sell my wares, and there we go. Sell all of that. How much money did I make? I didn't see. I didn't need to look. I need to look. That's 512. Eh, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot, unfortunately. But uh, I think we are good for right now. Let's sell that. And uh, you sell anything interesting? New? Not really. You sell these. But apart from that, not really much else. Okay. See you later, man. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Nah, that's you later. Yeah, we're not gonna fight right away, so it should be okay. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna buy ourselves some kebabs or a kebab. I guess it's pl could it, could it be plural? I'm not sure. Whenever I eat kebab, it's like just one. It's like a you know a bunch of meat inside a well, it's a type of kebab, I guess. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of meat inside of a. Uh, a little roll of, of, of bread, I guess. So let's go over here. Let's have a chat with uh, this kebab seller over here. It's the small. It's a small shanty town growing up outside the walls. Yes, it is. You see a dark-skinned man cooking kebabs over hot coals. Come, he says with that strange accent. Good food, very cheap. Special recipe make you strong like ox. Sure. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Do we want to? Oh, if we say maybe later, it does nothing happens. Okay, so we want to. You are about to put your money away when suddenly a man standing nearby snatches the coin bag out of your hand and starts running, pushing people out of his way and calling for help. And now we can go after him with our dexterity. You chase, your chase, you chase the thief through the streets and the alleys, slowly gaining on him. The chase comes to an abrupt end when the thief runs into a guard and stops. What's going on here? Barks the guard. I was minding my own business when he, the thief pointed you, when he pulled out a, a knife and ran after me. I see, the guard says. Well, we won't tolerate this kind of behavior in Terran, that's for sure. How do you answer these charges? This man stole from me. Is that so? Do you have witnesses? If not, I'd think twice before accusing honest people. Bid it. 
I take it you don't know who I am, huh? Well, fuck, enlighten me, says the guard. The name is Tertius. Rings any bells? Really? I thought you'd be taller. Give me the money, you idiot, yells the guards at the thief, grabbing the coin bag and giving it to you. And how much money did I gain? No one. No money right there, but I did gain two skill points, which is pretty cool. And I guess that was the whole point of that particular encounter. You didn't take your kebab here. Yeah, he gives you a stick with several small pieces of sizzling meat skewered on it. The meat is chewy but flavorful. It doesn't make you feel any stronger, though. Not that he really expected it, of course. Did we gain health, though? We did not. Maybe we did one point or something, I don't know. But yeah, I was looking for health and I didn't find any. I might just go for a single one, a single healing solve or balm or whatever. Um, and just go, roll with the 33. We'll see. Actually, probably not considering the battle that we are about to face. Because I'm looking at my second, um, at my second screen right now, looking at the tutorial. And now we need to go to one somebody that is going to kick our ass so hard. It's not going to even be funny. So... Yeah, we're we need to invest some money right here. Oh, what's what's that? Some some uh it's probably because I've been alt tabbing out of the game all, all the time during that fight. But uh, now we're gonna get our ass kicked and I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready for another off camera battle because this is probably gonna be a, a, a very, very tough. I'm not it's not to say it's not a reflection on how tough the game is. I think it is actually not that big of a deal if you have a good character. A character that's any good at fighting, but right now we're really not good at that. We're basically, we're basically, yeah, we're basically as good as Kato was at the first first time when we played. He had a little bit of dodge, I have a little bit of block, he had a little bit of, of uh, dagger, I have a little bit of spear. And he could have gone with spear before, but it wasn't that, as dexterous, that's for sure. I think he was actually. Didn't he have 10 action points, Kato? I don't remember. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while, but yeah, we're we're just not a combat-oriented build, basically. We're we're saving all our skill points, but uh, I hope I'll be able to do this next battle without uh, without any trouble, without needing to uh, improve my skills. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's go here. I will say one thing though. This thing it helps a lot. It really does help a lot. So I'll buy another one if I can. He always sells two, huh? Okay, that's pretty good. I'll buy another one. And I will buy, oh man, one of these would be so good. It would be so good. I wish I did have one. The armor harness, though, it's not really that different. I mean, I think mine is 40 and this is 50. Yeah. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be the biggest deal in the world, I guess. I'm not about to spend all that money, though. But anyway, we need to fix our stuff as well. Let's just buy that. Let us, um... Go ahead and browse. Not browse. I don't want to browse. I want to. I want him to fix my stuff. Uh, so can I actually? Can I fix my stuff? No, no. Leave, 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 leave. Can I fix my stuff? So if I go into crafting, this is the crafting uh, thing here, basically. Uh, so if I select, for example, Hasta, and I can, I can't really, really do anything. Why can't I? I need to select a material, but I don't have any materials. Yeah, I need to look at this thing with better care. Because uh, the last time I did this, I just selected Asta, selected the material, and forged. I didn't see this. So that might be a good thing. Actually, let's give it a shot right now. Now that we are here, let's give it a shot. Maybe I've been doing this all wrong. So I save the game right there. Let's browse these wares. I'm going to buy one single ingot. And that's enough for one Hasta. Uh, because... I'm not really sure why... Okay, yeah, that's what I, that's how much I need. It's not very expensive, it's just very cheap. And it's not that very heavy, so I could just buy them all. Wouldn't be a bad idea, maybe. I could, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's, why is it so cheap? That's interesting. Um, now, actually, let's look at a crafting. So, I could buy, I, could, I can't, I can't uh, make any armor here, I, although I would like to make one. But it requires 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Is it 20 pounds? Yeah, 20 pounds. It requires 20 pounds of armor, of um, ingots. So that is very, very, very much. So I will do this. I will select the material here and let's look at this thing up here. Oh. Oh, so that is very cool. Okay. Well, I li I'm liking this. I did. I okay. So yeah. I am liking this very, very much. Let's see. So basically, to hit chance bonus is a good thing. Weapon hardness is not really what I'm looking for. If I'm going up against uh, heavily armored guys, that's going to be my death anyway. Passive effect bonus. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Masterwork. So that's what that means. So that's what that means. And I got serrated edge, which critical chance bonus. That's pretty cool. 
the passive bonus is not a really what we're, we're what we want for the next bit. We want to hit chance, I think. Balanced is good. Oh, I can. What? I can. Oh, what? You need eight points in crafting to add this technique, so I can have two. Oh, that is awesome. That is really awesome. Well, my critical chance is pretty good with this one. Uh, I don't know if I need this or this, because I like this very much. I like to kite. I'm gonna go with this. This is a... I, I wish I had known about this. I can repair it as well? What? What's that? This is awesome. I am loving the... Why didn't I see this before? See, I told you guys, last playthrough, I told you that I would love to play a craftsman. And the, oh, look at that. Look at the badass weapon that I would be able to do with 10 points in crafting. I guess we'll get there. Uh, maybe later. Who knows? I don't. Uh, man, this is awesome. I'm going to just go ahead and craft this. Because all the other ones are either two-handed. Most of them are two-handed. But this one is... Um, it's one for slashing and stuff. It's not really a normal spear. It's like a, a broad spear. It's very weird. It's, you can slash with it. It's weird. And I think you can have the whirlwind whirlwind attack with it. I, this one also has that one, but no, I rarely use it because it's really a strength-based attack either way. Uh, so let's forge that thing. There you go. And we got our masterfully crafted and balanced Hasta right there. Man. Now I use it. Eh, oh my god, it's gonna kick so much ass. It's gonna kick so much ass. And a thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna buy all of his things around here, even though I probably won't need them at all. But yeah, it, it says 8 pounds right there. But it's not. It's not. It's just 0.1, I think. It's... I think. Right? So, yeah. It's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's either a bug. It's, it should be a bug. I'm not sure if that's a balancing, a balancing thing. But if it is a balancing thing, I guess I understand. Because carrying around these ingots, in this game particularly, it's, it could be it could be a little bit problematic. So there we go. There we have it, folks. We have a badass weapon right now, and I need to heal. There's no way I'm going to survive. I need to spend money here. That is going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, I probably am going to need more stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to save... Let's see if I have anything here that I can... Actually... Let's call it temp save because I usually do that anyway. So if I save here, and I can just quick save anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to need to come back to the, try different strategies because we are about to get ourselves. Oh, I was going to say that he sells that, but he doesn't. Oh, wait a minute. Where are your healing solves, man? You don't sell healings. What? Oh no. Oh no, this is bad news. This is really bad news, folks. I can't brew potions because I don't have, I don't have, uh, alchemy. I don't want to spend that point because we are going to need it later. So I think I'm going to have to invest in a, uh, in going to the doctor, basically. This guy doesn't sell. That is really bad. What happened? It did sell before. Did I... Yeah, that is really bad. Okay, well, let's go to the doctor, I guess. Uh, the healer, yeah. Oh, I know I know it's not the doctor. It's the healer. Let's have a chat with the guy. He's gonna just... So he wants... Yeah, he's about to say... So he wants how many? 50? 100? 60 Imperials and... He, oh, this time is less, I think? Yeah, fix me up, man. Fix me up. So I think maybe it's about the same price, a little bit more expensive, maybe. Well, we spent less than we would if we wanted to get this amount of health. So I think we're good. I think we're good right now. Anyway, let's go and kill this Miltiads or Militiades. I, I have no idea what his name is. I'm kind of lost right now. He's over there. Is it? Let me check. So I need to... Yeah, Miltiades or whatever. Miltiades. Miltiades. I... That T is pronounced differently in, in Latin, so it's kind of it's kind of weird. But let's have a chat with the guy. We never we never talked to him, but I know who he is. 
You are near the market square when a man in rich robes approaches you. A moment of your time, kind master. I am Miltiades, a merchant by trade. I'm terribly sorry to impose on you, but I am in a bit of a predicament. You see, I, I, I deal in the finest weapons and armor. Each item I, is a work of art, forged from the rarest materials and crafted to perfection. Unfortunately, I can't open up a shop until I settle a dispute with the Commercium, and I can't settle it until I start selling my merchandise. Thus, I have no choice but to beg people to show kindness and by what they can at greatly reduced prices, of course. I'm asking only for what I paid for these items, so it is quite a bargain. Would you like to take a look? My wares are in the house nearby. Okay, um, I think so. Let's see, let me check. Yeah, we're gonna need bolas here and nets as, all, uh, as well. But, well, since this is probably gonna be a off-camera battle, I'm gonna go down fighting yet again. You follow Milchius to his house. His servant, his servants greet you at the door and let you in. They are well armed and armored, but these are dangerous times. You never know whom you can trust these days. The room is empty. You turn around to ask Milchius where his merchandise is, and his servants draw weapons and at attack without saying a word. So we could run, which is what Klepta did, but we are gonna fight. Oh yes, and uh, oh, just two of them? Oh, really? You guys are gonna attack me with just two? And I say that I'm gonna get my ass kicked, but just two is fine. I'm okay with just two. Uh, let's see, who do I like less? This guy's got a Skagox. This guy's got a... Uh, don't know the name of that thing. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and attack whoever is easiest to attack first. As to prolong the amount of time that I'm... Oh, yeah, with a shield here. That's one point of damage reduction. That is a glance. Yeah, this attack, these power attacks are brutal. They are massively tough. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need nets. We're gonna need all sorts of bad stuff for them, not for me. Uh, and I'm gonna need to bash this guy in the face and miss. There you go. Ten points of damage and now we die. Deals that are too good to be true usually are not. Nevertheless, deep down inside you wonder to believe people get lucky all the time and get something for nothing. Why couldn't it be you, one of them? The one, the way you saw it, the universe owed you and it was about time you paid, you, it paid you with interest. So instead of doing the smart thing, you followed the traitor like a lamb to its slaughter and got yourself killed over what little you had. The universe remained indifferent. Of course you, it did. Of course it did. Oh boy. So we're gonna need bolas. I need to find some though. I, who the hell sells them? Uh, I don't know. Bolas or nets, basically, basically the same thing. Uh, I'm gonna need. I don't know who sells them. There's, it's in the marketplace for sure. Somebody in there, somebody in there sells it. Let's go uh, to the Merchants Plaza. Yes, that's what I want. Not marketplace. It's basically the same thing, though. Uh, let's see if this guy sells anything. Why is he so far removed from everyone else, though? Should be over there with everyone else. Like, do you want some nails? Because that's what blacksmiths do, most of them. Or deed. Uh, let's see. I browse your wares. Let's see what you have around here. Do you have what I need? Or do I need to buy into the... Uh... Yeah. I think it's either this gun, this weapon or that he had, or it's something else. That's a nice dagger light right there. I sold it to him. Yeah, but yeah. He doesn't sell bolus. Well, I have a bomb, so I, I, I'm, I'm kind of trying to save the bomb, because it's pretty pretty powerful. Let's see if this guy sells anything. I don't think he does. Yeah, but there was... Isn't there a trade? Was, yeah, there it is. There's a merchant in here. Browse his wares. Let's see what he sells. Uh, so he sells an helmet. It's not gonna, yeah, it's this. He has a scimitar. No, he probably doesn't. I don't know. I don't know what kind of blade he had. But there we go. We got ourselves some bolus. And we got ourselves a net. Let's see. So what's the difference? A weapon consisting of two heavy balls secured to the end of a strong rope, hurled to entangle the legs of cattle and other animals. It works even better on two-legged animals and can be thrown to entangle legs or choke. Okay, that's pretty cool. So this one... Okay, I think I need these more. So I'm just gonna buy two of these. And... Uh, one of... I don't know... I'm gonna try with one of these. This is gonna be... It's gonna be fun. It is gonna... I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I don't know. It's it's gonna be 
impossible. That's what it's gonna be. Uh, so I'm not gonna use that. My critical chance is not good enough for anything there, or there's no critical chance chance or whatever. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this at one, this at another. I'm just gonna approach, or I'm gonna stay still actually. Let's see how this goes. Let's have a chat with the Milchias over here. Uh, so sure, I'd like to take a look. No, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. Not what I wanted. Come on. Really? I. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I am sorry. But I know where to go now. I know where to go. Don't worry. Let's make sure. So we are... Yeah, we're over here. Let's go. Let's go and, and do what I did wrong. Sorry. My bad. So there's this trader that sells what I need. And I need to equip it again. Linen, silk, cotton, somebody says. I don't need any of that. Give me guns and... Cannon and machine gun, please. Uh, no machine guns in this game. Let's see. Let's buy one of these again. Let's buy two of these again. And trade. So we're down to 282 gold. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Since these cannot miss, I hope it goes well for me. And he here's hoping it does. So the reason I equipped it on my belt is because I can equip it without... On my main hand. I mean, I can equip it on my main hand without... Um, so fight, yes, without uh, without a costing action points. So I'm gonna throw this at this guy. 100% chance to hit. There you go. And now I automatically equipped that one because I am a badass like that. Now I am gonna put it like that. There we go. And I'm gonna throw this at this guy, and hopefully he's gonna get stuck. Yes. For how long? I wouldn't know. But that guy's gonna come next to me. And my passive to hit chance didn't work there. So I am hoping that I can hit him twice. Can hit him once for 9 damage because he doesn't have a helmet. Hit him again for 10 damage because he doesn't have a helmet. That guy gets... There you go. He got an entangled. But of course, things don't go well after that bit. Things don't go well after that bit. So all I can do here is I could throw a bomb. Let's throw a bomb. If this goes well, it goes well. Yeah, that's a bomb for you guys. And oh, this is actually this actually might go very well. I think yes, yes. I I like how this thing how this is looking. I'm gonna go with an arterial strike over here. And I am gonna move, or should I equip my shield? Right now, I'm kind of torn between the two because there's no real. Po I. I can't. I, if I want to use the net again, I will need to unequip my shield, so it's not a good thing. So, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna stay in the middle, and they're gonna get next to me. And my, if my passive works, I will kick their ass. Oh no, they're getting up. Oh, this guy didn't. That's good. Two damage. That's perfect, actually. That's pretty awesome. Uh, so he's almost dead, but I need something here. Okay, I, I'm gonna roll the dice. There's a fifth, about a 50% chance that I will hit him once in the two, in the two attacks, because it's the 34. Let's go. There we go, guys. We're gonna do it on camera, I think. Maybe, probably not though. Probably not. So I'm gonna throw this at that guy. That gonna it's gonna f actually I can't I can't but I can kite him a little bit. Let's see what happens. Oh no no! Oh he missed. That's fantastic. That is really good. Okay I, I got scared for a moment. You heard that? Okay this is going well. It's gonna force him neck. Oh you dirty bugger. Okay so I will be able to attack him twice on the legs and. Uh, yeah, I need to I need to take the the advantage here. Sixty three percent chance to hit. No critical though. Seventy three. Okay, so next turn he's gonna get out of the net. I think maybe not. Of course, the net also decreases his ability to um, to actually uh, you know attack. Okay, guys. Oh, that's a dodge. Damn it. There we go. I'm kind of clenching so much. That was. He's missing a lot. How awesome is this, guys? We're gonna do this on camera! I can't believe it! I cannot believe it. I did waste a bomb, though. That was a big, big help. I can go for the legs and then move back. Okay, let's move back. He's gonna attack me, but that's gonna be a fast attack. I can kite him, actually. That's That wouldn't be a terrible idea, because this attack is the only one that I'm kind of afraid of. 
really concerned with. So I want to go there. It's it can't attack me diagonally, but I can... It's good, I think. Uh, so let's go. Yeah, I'm doing some damage. And yeah, okay, okay. We're going to do this on camera, guys. There you go. Okay, get away. There you go. Yeah, this ability is so great. I not dealing damage though. That's bad though. I'm saying though a lot. Two damage right there. Can't really do anything here, but let's go with another one. It's always Oh, don't tell me we're gonna die at the end. Okay, I'm gonna have to roll a dice here. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Yeah. Unless he misses, but he's not. Well, that was a good run. That was a good run. I, I'm i sorry to end another episode on a death screen, but uh, I that was exciting. That was <laughs> very exciting. I am glad I did it. I am really glad, and I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have or more. Oh, boy. This episode. This episode. <laughs> oh, the age of decadence. Oh boy. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now. I'm Colonel RPG and this has been The Age of Decadence. I really, really do hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sharing with me with the joy, for the joy or whatever, however you say that. Sharing the joy with me, that's, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.